Hi everyone, it's Gail. We are going to work in this ephemera box. That is my retreat ephemera box that I haven't used this year because of course I haven't gone to any retreats. And um, so that's what we're going to do. Let me say hi and hugs to Renee, Alexia, Emma, and Carmen. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. You guys, I've been filming for 40 minutes and the camera wasn't on. Can That hasn't happened to me in so long. <laughs> so I'll show you what I made that we were supposed to be making together. But first of all, let me just tell you about this box of stuff. So um, all of these flowers are in here. Um, they're Hobby Lobby flowers, all sorts of flowers in here. And um, then all sorts of pieces to like work on like bags and um, there's index cards and tags and playing cards and you know all sorts of stuff this if you can see this thing is full of flowers there's playing cards in there little envelopes and things um, this bag is full of like little tiny tags and various envelopes and bags and things this was a happy mail. It's got a bunch of stuff in it too. I don't know. So yeah, all sorts of things. And so I've grabbed that out. I've also grabbed out my use it up. This was the use it up. And then this little box has a bunch of stuff in it. So yeah, just all sorts of things to use. Well, let me show you what I made when I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. Let me make sure I am. Yep, I am now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so I got a, a bag out of my box there, and I made one of these little, um, this is a little pocket right here. I made uh, one of these for my journal that I'm going to start working on. So I made that, and then this was a tea bag envelope, and I just collaged it. I have a little little tiny journaling card in there. That's from Amy at Crafty Cat. And then um, used one of the flowers and then used scraps and just covered it. So that can tuck in a pocket somewhere. Those are the two things I got done. <laughs> so now I don't know what we're gonna do. Let's let's look at the box. Let's see um, what we could do. Actually, now let, I'm I'm changing gears go into the use it up box because it is use it Tuesday, right? Um, I am going to just make a little pocket out of this, I think. Um, and I don't know, maybe this will be for my, for my use it up journal. This is kind of, so I need to put something there. I mean, but it's a good sack. It just had something from Etsy, and so it's got tape here and tape here. So I just need to to cover those things is all. And maybe put a piece of coffee dyed paper here. Let's do that. I got some right here, so we could just do a little of that. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, I have to try and think of all the stories I told you. Oh, the the tea bag I was telling I was telling you earlier. Um, my daughter sells Arbon as just kind of a side job. She's a real estate agent, but she also sells the Arbon. And um, uh, I use all the. Uh, moisturizers the makeup all that kind of stuff and I put in an order and they sent me um, they sent me a tea a tin of all sorts of teas and of course being as um, being a journal maker <laughs> I couldn't just look at it as tea I was like oh gosh um, what could I make out of that so I made that little envelope and then this, you know, came off of the tea 
If you guys have any ideas for those, would you let me know? Because I don't know what to do with it, but I kept it. And of course I kept the bag that he was in because I think they just look so cool over things. They make things look really vintagey. So yeah, I I told you all of that <laughs> in the last video. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. And I was telling you that I felt super busy this week because um, I need to free up a day to just do um, the taking down of Christmas decorations and stuff. So I've been feeling super busy and a little bit stressed to get everything done. And then my silly camera doesn't work. What? I was like, okay, all right. I'll just I'll just carry on so the other thing I was showing you where to do with it um I've been reorganizing my ephemera books and this is one that I made and it's not nearly as nice as the ones I get from uh, Martha at crafty uh, Martha at shabby craft studio and um, gosh I just have a blank Bella and Gray, Bella and Gray. So they're not nearly as nice as theirs, but you know, they're okay. And and this one, I actually threw one away because it was, it was horrible, but this one's not too bad. So I have all my stuff in it. Like these are all my, pretty much I think, for the most part, my um, trims and then some uh, different little ephemera pieces little little this is and that's so yeah so anyway I wanted to use some of these things up too so what I wonder if we could find something that would kind of fit on there and maybe we could collage over it a little bit I don't know just kind of looking that's too big that going sideways let's let's use this on there I need to put something over there so I was thinking maybe one of the maybe I could use one of my um, one of my trims that's got sticky on the back it's what I was trying to spit out there I want to use a color that, you know, kind of goes with, that's kind of a good one, huh? I put that there, what I want to put it, I might want to put it somewhere else too. Okay, let's get rid of our book. And I have, I do have um, videos on how to make those, but like I say, mine, mine aren't great. So I, I mean, the basis of how to make them is what it is. But I don't know. I didn't use heavy enough paper. I feel like. And the other one, I tried to use um, page protector, which I really like. But you really need to sew it because. Um, it will just the fabric tack won't won't hold it so i learned that the hard way so that book was just oh it was horrible had um washi tape everywhere holding things and yeah it was it was bad so okay um so anyway that one went in the garbage. It was like, you know what? I am not going to worry about trying to salvage you. It's just... There comes a point where you just have to let it go. Whoa! Throwing things. Okay. Oh, the other story I told you in the, la the last time. <laughs> the last time we were together. I think I'll wait to put that on until I put this on. Um, is that I was talking to my youngest daughter. She's Bucky's mom. 
and um, I, we were talking about my YouTube channel and stuff. And I said, I said, yeah, there's lots of people that say that they watch me at night and I put them right to sleep. <laughs> and I said, I said, your, your dad has said that for years, <laughs> especially if I started talking about the births of our children <laughs> would put them right out. Just not interested <laughs> in that topic. Oh, man. But so anyway, so anyway, then she was telling me that they have been playing like this sleepy time music for Bucky at night to help him go to sleep because his bedroom is right off the living room. And um, so, you know, they're still watching TV or whatever. And so um, sometimes it's hard for him to go to sleep or whatever so funny anyways <laughs> so she said well maybe I should just put your videos on and he could just fall asleep to your voice I said yes that's what you need to do because then whenever I get to see him again because you know he's he's what is he 12 September, October, November, December. He's like 16 months old. And we haven't seen him for a year. So he would, when we saw him, he was two months old. So, you know, other than FaceTime, he doesn't know us from Adam. And um, anyway, so I said, yeah, you should, because then you know my voice. And I said, I said, so next time we see him, he would know my voice, I said, and I'll say, hi, Bucky, and he'll fall sound asleep. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of fun to have on there. Um, What could I use up on this side? I'm looking in my use it up bucket. Just to see, oh, I have these, and that would actually go because it's pink. Yep, I'm just going to put that right there. Look at us using things up. What am I doing? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Got myself all discombobulated with my putting Bucky to sleep story. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. So it is one gray day here and it's just so weird because we usually get sunshine every day. So it really seems almost eerie out there because it's just so gray. Um, I don't think we're supposed to get any snow. We've had very little snow this year. I know other places have had a lot more. Seems like the east of the country is getting more snow than we are this year. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put that on there. And I'm not going to make it a tuck or anything. Well, should I? I could. Let's just make it a tuck. Options. Give lots of options. <laughs> so I'll just... Using my Tombow glue, I meant to start my new bottle of Art Glitter Glue before the video. And, of course, I forgot. So I need to do that before the next bit of filming. Get in there, you. There we go. So that could be decorated a little bit too. And I was wondering if we wanted this anywhere else. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to pop it back in my book, be a good girl, and put things away. <clears throat> I kind of would like some Tim Holtz people on there maybe. Maybe a bit of fabric or something. 
I don't know. This is pretty. Okay, let me get the Timmy people first. Where are you? Here we go, guys. Oh, I love these two little girls. They're so cute. Oh, perfect. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Okay. And they would look cute with this fabric behind them, I think. Oh, dear. I just flung that. I don't know where it went. Pin and buttons and stuff. Oh, well. Let's go to about right there. So this is this is fun just having ourselves a little craft today. Nothing nothing too big. Oh, I know. I was also going to tell you I didn't have time between um the last video which you saw yesterday and this video to finish my covers. So I will finish those at a later date. Let's see. Kind of trying to use a few things in here. Oh, look, here's one that says friends. Yep, we're going to put that right there. Um, so anyway, um, next time I film, because I will be off for the weekend, actually Friday and the weekend, because Friday I need to take down my Christmas tree. And all that. So. So this will be a pocket. The back page will be a pocket. And then it will flip out. Okay, my little girls. I use so much of my Fabri-Tac uh, on the covers, I'm going to need to refill my bottle. Do go through a lot of it with those. As I do believe I said yesterday. Just so you know that I know I'm repeating myself. <laughs> oh, okay, and then we're going to put this there. like this and then I was wondering over here got these little pink flowers do we want one of those on there someplace like like right there yeah I think so Kind of ties in the pink from the trim. Gosh, I have got grits all over me. <laughs> it's because I was do um doing the uh, the covers, so I have threads on me, and I have paper from doing this little project today. So goodness. She is a mess, sports fans. Okay. Um, then I was thinking on this side, I was thinking of doing something with this too. Maybe we go up the side and maybe a little lace. Roll that back up. See, looking to see in the snippets what kind of lace I have. That kind of blends in. I think I might need a more of a um, maybe something like this, more of a cream color or something. And, oh, 
oh, you know what I need to use? I'm going to save that for something else. And my use it up pile. Forgot about this. This lace. Oh, and I think there's a possibly a washi tape we could use too. So I think I'm just going to do a little snip of this like this. I think I'm going to make the washi tape go that way. See this washi tape right here, this pink? I'm thinking that could go across there. Like, about like that. Just go, yep. Okay, I'm going to put some Ooh, who on it so it stays put. Okay, sorry, I just hit ya. Okay, and then if I put that there on this here. maybe some diety bones okay we have a plan <laughs> I'm still laughing at my video not working oh my gosh I'm glad it wasn't like on the that it didn't do that on the cover video from yesterday that would have been really frustrating <laughs> But today I was like, well, I guess I just get to keep crafting for a bit longer. I think I'll put, even though this is sticky, I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac on it. Just make sure, make sure it stays. Like that. Okay, and then grab my diety bones and see what would, oh, I've got pink. Pink diety bones, is that like pink overload or what? Or I've got, I think I'm gonna go plain. Can't go completely too much pink. Be like, yeah, that's good. We'll do that. Okay. All right, that little piece is done. We got a sack and a whole bunch of other things from the use it up piles done. <laughs> And then, yeah, so this will go on the page and you can either um, glue around here and have a pocket here or glue this way and have a pocket there. Better leave that open to dry. Okay. What else should we make? We've got some envelopes here. What are, yeah, what do we got going with those? Got some bags. Hmm. Let's do this bag. I have these papers too that are embossed but they're falling apart that I was thinking maybe that would be kind of cool on there. Haven't really even other than the flowers dug into the, <laughs> the um, retreat ephemera. I'm gonna put this in my tiny scraps over here. Okay. Um, but yeah, haven't really even, wonder if I could give this a little bit of it's very, uh, what, 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 we'll just say fragile. Yep. Because 
apparently I had too many plates in or something and I um, die or uh, embossed it too heavily to the point of <laughs> it falling apart. Okay, let's do this. I don't know what my deadline is for this basket. Like if I haven't used it, I have to get rid of it. I don't know. I haven't made a commitment to that effect yet. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna tombow this because it is so fragile. Yeah, really my, kind of my goal for this video or this crafting session was just to get some stuff used up and to um, get stuff used up and make some ephemera. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. I like that. I almost wonder when it's dry if I want to just kind of go over it with the sponge and make the make the bumps even a little more prominent. Okay, so that's good. We used a little of that. Okay. What else do I have in my little use it up here? That's kind of cute. Why not? Use it up. Use it up. Better use Fabri-Tac on it though. Um, I'm just pondering what else to do with it. Oh, I have an idea. Just struck me. Ah, it's unraveling. Okay. Then I was wondering, I thought, let's see, where are they? Got these flowers from my friend Char at um, Char's Crafty Shop on Etsy, and they're kind of um, neutral, so I haven't looked too much at them. Oh, isn't that? I'd say that's all that bag needs. Oh, I love that. Okay. So, I I think I am going to try and... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That just brings out the embossing a bit. Okay, let's put this pretty little flower on there. Oh, <laughs> trying to take off the metal tip. Hello. <laughs> oh, goodness. This will just be a fun little tuck in a journal at some point. That's great. That's a neutral piece. That'll be that'll be fun. Thank you, Shar. Okay, and this guy is all dry. Oh, very fun. All right. Where are we at? Oh, we're at a half an hour. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna move you slightly. You're a little further over than I'm used to, so okay. Um, half an hour, so about quarter till. What now? What now? Let's look in our box. See if there's something. Well, I was looking. 
me look in here. This this was from a Happy Mail, I do believe. There's, ooh, these are fun for tags. Little Timmy. Ooh, let's play with that one. Little bags and envelopes and things. That's fun envelope. Maybe that would be fun to decorate. Not exactly sure what to do with it, but okay. And then some big envelopes. So what's fun is at my um, retreats is just to, you know, have this stuff and, you know, you only have so much, so many things that you bring and then just make stuff out of it. And um, the last retreat that I went to, it was a friend here in town. I think I want to back that on coffee dyed paper or here I've got a piece of will this work yeah uh, a little bit of straw paper um, anyways a friend here in town had one and um, was kind of cool this gal and her husband they have kind of transformed one of the funeral uh, homes in town the chapel part is just a great big room and they've got tables and stuff in there and they've made it into kind of a crafting retreat place I know I talked about her right when um, when I went there but uh, anyway it was a great place for a retreat because they have a kitchen right off there was a kitchen right off the big room and uh and everything of course bathrooms and everything so yeah it, it really lent itself to be turned into that um, but at that one I had a bunch of readers digest um, covers and I took those and a variety of papers and then I did the signatures, got the signatures sewn in and all that kind of stuff. And that was a good one too. Where, but that one, it was here in town. And so if I needed something, I could run home if need be, you know. But um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, so that, that was kind of fun too. But um, I usually take this box when I go. Because usually when I go to... Um, the retreats in Anaconda, Montana, I um, usually take a variety to work on because there are several days and, you know, kind of get tired of doing the same thing. Okay, what do we want to do with you? Um, I want to collage a bit on it and then I think it's calling for some Timmy people, don't you? Um... I would like a piece of book page. Um, my go-to one, but it's just the right size. It's got a lot of pages in it, but I'm, <laughs> I'm working on whittling them down, that's for sure. Um, and then, I don't know. Doesn't need it doesn't need a whole ton. Um ew, I don't mind that just like that. And then I was thinking about going around like that, but let's get a Timmy person and that we I think we can go big person. Let me see. Oh gosh, that's hilarious. I 
that's a good one for a winter journal, isn't it? It's too wide for that. This dapper man could go on there. Could put a little something here for him to have his hand on. I don't use the guys a lot, but I've got that one. Um, oops. I dropped my ladies. I've got that one um, journal cover that's masculine, so maybe I can use a few pieces in there for that, huh? Okay. So, like, maybe a ticket. Let's see. I only have pink tickets in the in the box, so I'm gonna break into my Tim Holtz tickets here. See if there's something. That one might be the right size, and it's loose in my in my book, so I wouldn't mind. over a bit actually move that over a bit move him over a bit okay <clears throat> and then and then and then wonder what we could put maybe a number I want that just to be by itself, so it could have a butterfly. Butterflies aren't just for girls. I'm going to open up my Tracy and Artie Mays here and see I don't have a small butterfly would go there. Do I? big. Maybe not. Okay, we'll go back over here to the books. Go to the books. I like that there, but I think I want more color. It's pretty good. Just seeing if there's something that says that I would like it better. Let's look at this one. No, I think I like the dark. There, okay. And then how about Where's my shabby dabby? Redo my books and then I don't remember where anything is. <laughs> I think she's in here. Where are you? Where are you, shabby dabby? Oh, maybe not. Oh, I know where she is. Okay. She's in here now. I switched her. And I, what I was thinking is maybe of putting like one of these numbers right here. Yep, that's, I think that's what I'm going to do with that one. So, pull the sleeves back up, get the inker ready. Whoa. That's kind of fun to think about a man's journal. I haven't done one in a long time. I have done men's journals before, but I haven't done one in a long time.
it's crazy. I haven't, we really haven't had such a dull day in a long time. Like it's almost dark in my room. Tell you what, I am sticky head to toe today. Just uh, with doing those covers and the um, fabric tack and stuff. Okay, so I actually want this to be right on the bottom of the tag. there. Okay. I'm gonna go fabric tack on my my dude. I like to have a little a little more grip on these since they're kind of heavy chipboard. Well, this is definitely a video of some variety, isn't it? All kinds of things going on here. This is a label. Get that on about there. I should have done fabric tack on this too. The tumbles lifting up a little bit. So I'll learn my lesson and put this on with. Okay, another piece done. Woohoo, look at us go. That was very close to singing. My apologies. <laughs> oh, I have an idea for this sack. Okay, just looking over at my pile of stuff. Isn't that cute? I like that one. Okay, so I looking at this, I am wondering in my use it up. We put a little, yeah, let's put a little, little bit of burlap on there. Oh, that took a bit. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we're going to do that. Let's ink and think for a second. Yes, we either go Big Flower or Tim Holtz person again or something. It's kind of a cool bag, isn't it? Did I already do this? I think I did. Okay. that top up a bit. Okay, I think I want that. And then what is the 
question. Okay. This little tub of things to use. Oh, isn't that pretty? I think that could be kind of fun. Um, just wondering if we want anything else. I think I might get those on and then then kind of decide. Um, go around the edges with this and then I think I'm going to take my brush and brush vintage photo on the inside because it's it's pretty white. Now you certainly could have left that white, you know. It's just personal preference and I like things a little more distressed, so. Okay, so if we go there. It's fun. It's going to be so great to have all this stuff just in my little box ready to go. thing it's almost time to redo my nails because they are kind of a wreck <laughs> okay I'm kind of feeling another shabby dabby doodah number um Maybe a lighter one. I think so. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Use those shabby dabby doo -doo numbers. They really do um, kind of what, what would you say? They just are the, a great finishing touch what I would say. Okay. What do you think? Is that enough? Um, just a thought. But what if we layered some over that and just gave it more um, more texture, more depth. I think I'm going to do that. Just on the top. Don't need to no need to worry about the bottom, but like that a little bit of well isn't that pretty very fun okay how we doing we just have about 10 minutes left don't we um 10 minute project what would that be what would that be 
Oh, I know what I wanted to do. If I had them in here, I thought I did. Oh yeah, there's one. How about we do a time card pocket? Right there to that one. That might might be only a, a ten minute thing. Actually, we could call this a floating pocket because we could write on the back too. So I think we're going to treat it as if we are. Could either be stuck down or in a journal or left free to be able to be written on the back. My um, scissors aren't doing a good enough job. A bone folder. There we go. That was better. All right. So, once again, I was thinking of using some of this. Oh, there's just a little piece right there. Um, yeah, more like that. And, of course, we're going to glue here and here and make that a pocket, so... Another little piece to use somewhere. But I was thinking of putting that down and then doing one of my fun little um, clusters that I did the other day. This one would be pretty on there. Mm, or with this one. Like that one better. These little flowers are from E Papery. Um, so let's glue. Let's see. We watched the movie last night, twenty twelve on um, Netflix. We'd seen it before. We realized once we got into it that we'd seen it before, but <laughs> it was it was good. It was um, kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat. I don't know, like I said to my husband, gosh, you know, we've had, we've been through enough in 2020, <laughs> but it wasn't as bad as 2012 <laughs> in the movie. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I said could be worse. <laughs> mm, okay, so that's super cute. I like that a lot. Um, I think I'm just going to use this here to make sure it sticks well. And... I don't think I got that very, I mean, sometimes if you distress the edge, it's more obvious that, like, that's a pocket, you know? Um, part of me kind of thinks it might be fun to have, like, a little Tim Holtz person with his feet in the pockets. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see, that's Christmas. Oh, I think I might use a small, large one, if that makes sense. This sweet girl, I love her. Oh, she's got her little brother, I forgot. She has her little brother with her. I just think I want one person. How about this little dude? I love him. Okay, so he's almost not big enough to, like, go in the pocket. 
That's what I was kind of thinking. And then there'd be a tag or something in there too. Maybe instead of a Tammy person, oops, just fell out. Something did. Some guy, <laughs> some guy fell on my floor. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'll put you away later. Um, I was thinking about a, maybe a flower going down into there. And if I use a washi flower, it will, you'll still be able to kind of see behind it a little bit. Um, I want a bit bigger one. Let's use, let's use something from here. Actually, this yellow one, kind of pick up the yellow there. wish this was going the other way because this is heavy over here. I want it to kind of be over here, you know. So maybe that's not the one. Um, no. That's kind of what I want, I think. I think we might be able to finish this in 10 minutes if I can get the sticker off. <laughs> oh, it's always a bit of a challenge. What I wanted exactly okay and then I might like a little something um, I'm thinking about shabby dabby doodah's little definition labels perhaps a little something like that oh it's a bit big okay new about one of these this is a Roxy Creations one I actually really kind of like that I think I'm going to go with that one okay Makes for a quick piece of ephemera when you can use stickers that just stick right on there. Okay. Well, that's crooked. That's better. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That's a cute little, yeah, put a little pocket in there. And these might still show even once you, you know, if you put a little, put a little tag in there or something, then they'll still show. That'd be fun. Okay. I'm going to, we're going to do a recap. And I feel so happy. We used a lot of stuff from my use it ups, I feel like. So there we go. There is our time card pocket, our um, little sack, little, our, our gentleman tag, we'll call it, another little sack. This was um, our little, I don't know, little sack flappy thing. <laughs> 
will be a pocket too. And then these two I did in the prior video, the prior video that didn't happen. <laughs> so thanks everybody so much for using it up with me today. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.